All right. All right, here we are at the Duotone booth with Sky Soulback. How's it going? Going great. Awesome. So uh, winging, the new thing. Yeah, everyone's pretty excited about it. So, yeah. yeah, we're excited to launch a bunch of new products here. Cool. Yeah. Let's uh, let's take us through some of the new boards. Yeah. So these are our 2023 team edition models. So I'll go through three different models here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Probably the first thing to mention about these boards is it's a brand new construction for 2023 for our team edition. Um, yeah, with all the crazy stuff people are doing on wings these days, we definitely felt the need to beef up the boards a lot and make them as strong and light and stiff as possible. So this is a full PVC carbon sandwich construction. It's very similar to like a windsurf board construction. Okay. Um, so yeah, using a lot of that technology carried over from windsurfing, especially with all the knowledge that the Fanatic guys have about, about building windsurf boards over the years, yeah. incorporated a lot of that into these boards. So definitely the strongest, lightest, stiffest boards that, that we've made to date. Um, yeah, this is the Sky Surf model. So this comes in three sizes from 4.2 up to 4.6, 25, 35, and 45 liters. And this is a, a prone surf foil slash wing crossover board. It's a board that you can use for both. If you're using it for winging, it's definitely like, you know, what you would consider a sinker board, a high performance small board. Uh, this one here is a 4.4, four, so 35 liters. And, um, Compared to last year's board, we made a few different changes. It's got a very similar outline to last year's Sky Surf, um, but you'll notice it's got a brand new rail shape. Um, last year we sort of had straight bevels, now we have this concave bevel. It's really nice, um, especially for surfing, because when you're duck diving, it's hard to grab a big square rail in your hand. Right. So this is almost like grabbing a surf rail, which I one of, one of the things I really like about it. Yeah, exactly. You can actually hold on to it and, and properly duck dive it. Um, but also as a wingboard, like you can throw it under your arm, it kind of feels like a surfboard, so that's pretty cool. And then you still get the, you know, uh, smaller uh, surface area on the bottom, less catching when you're going upwind, all that stuff. Um, one cool thing about this board is the recessed deck shape, and it's kind of something that we've done on all three models. On this board, it's a little bit more subtle, but basically scooping out this uh, stance area and then leaving more thickness and volume on the rails and tail and being able to distribute the volume where we need it to keep the board really balanced when it's floating in the water. Um, and then also just optimizing the deck angle, so the, the angle that your front foot is standing in relation to the foil. So on this board, we've optimized that for sort of early and comfortable takeoffs when you're surfing, yeah. and then really direct pumping uh, when you're pumping back out. It's got almost like a 90 degree angle from the front foot to the mast, which is really positive for oh. pumping. So you're still shaping these in Maui first and then sending them off to, yep. to design? Yeah, so I do all my prototyping. I have a, a workshop in, at my place in Maui. and. Uh, yeah, I'm able to do all the shapes there and prototype and have the team riders come over and do testing. And then, uh, yeah, and then everything gets gets made at our factory. So. Awesome. Yeah, and then the next model we have, this is a brand new model for 2023. It's called the Sky Style. And um, it's a brand new shape, brand new model. This is kind of the all-around high-performance board. Um, we designed it specifically for doing freestyle jumps and tricks, um, but also optimized it for riding waves. Um, so there's some pretty cool features built into this board. Um, first of all, it's a pretty compact shape um, compared to like last year's Sky Wing, which had kind of a more fuller square outline. This definitely has like a more pulled in tail and pulled in nose, so it's a narrower design, um, which gives it more maneuverability. Um, like I just talked about on the Sky Surf, it's got the scooped out deck, so we got a lot of volume up here in the nose, which is great for when you're coming down nose first um, from you know doing a big jump. The nose wants to pop back up and not sink, so that's that's really nice for freestyle, um, but also for stability for having such a narrow tail and nose. The scooped out deck gives you a lot of stability for getting started because you have a lot of volume out here on the outside of the board, which which gives you that stability. Um, the main thing, the main cool feature about this board, I would say, is the rocker line. It's something we worked on a lot 
So typically, a lot of wing boards tend to be pretty flat in the tail and have a scoop nose. This board has a continuous rocker curve, so it's got a center point here. It actually has quite a bit of tail rocker. So what that translates into is a more nose up position when you're foiling. That's really helpful for quite a few things. Um, one for jumping and freestyle, it gives you more room in the pitch direction so you can sink your foil and load, have a, a bigger space to load up for your jumps. Um, and then it also gives you, for wave riding, gives you more maneuverability just because you have more freedom of movement, your nose isn't so close to the water. Um, which is really surprising actually when we were developing. Like, you would think that um, it wouldn't make such a big difference, but a tiny little bit of tail rocker, a few extra millimeters, puts your nose at a higher angle, and it actually makes the board feel much more maneuverable. I guess that's like the same as any angle, the further away you go from the tail. Exactly, it's like exponential, it gets way more. So, yeah, that's really surprising because, you know, the, the flatter the nose, or even nose down, the more locked in the board tends to feel. It's almost like if you're surfing on a regular surfboard, if you stand forward, the board feels locked in. If you stand further back and the nose gets up, right. it's almost that same sort of sensation. Um, so that's really unique about this board, that it rides in that nose up position, um, which is great for freestyle and riding waves. Um, so this comes in a bunch of different sizes from 4.7 all the way up to 5.1, 55 liters up to 85 liters, I believe. And then moving on to our last model here, this is the Sky Free Team Edition. Um, this is sort of an update of last year's Sky Wing. So this one definitely has an emphasis on early planing and stability. Um, so a great all-rounder, sort of intermediate to advanced board, or a great light wind board. Right. Um, it's got a lot of glide, um, which is clean release in the tail. It's got a really lean rocker. Um, this one rides a little bit more flatter nosed as, a, as opposed to the, the Sky uh, style, which rides in a more nose up position. So this one feels very comfortable, very locked in. And um, yeah, a great board for, for early planing and lighter wind. Um, compared to last year's Sky Wing, this board is an inch shorter for the same volume. Um, so like last year's 5.4 Sky Wing was 95 liters, this is a 5.3 now at 95 liters. So one inch shorter for the same volume. And a big reason we're able to do that is because of this recessed deck shape. Um, this just gives you so much more stability because I'm able to place the volume in the places where you really need it, out on the rails and tail and nose, which is, and so when you're kneeling on the board to get started, you're sort of in, you're sort of in the center of the board and you have all this volume surrounding you, giving you stability. So a um, little bit shorter and more compact and still the same volume as last year's board. Very cool. So, I like the, yeah. the nice thin corduroy. Yeah, deck pads. that's uh, one other thing to add is um, we've thickened our deck pad just slightly from last year, so it's a little bit thicker and a little bit softer than last year's deck pad, which was some feedback we got. So, um, yeah, I love this pad. When it gets wet, it's super grippy, but it doesn't tear up your knees like a diamond pattern does. So, um, yeah, it's a really nice deck pad for a wingboard. Very cool. Well, thanks for taking us through that. Cool. We might be able to get out there on these soon. Yeah, looks like cool. we're getting a little east wind. All right, here we are with some new wings. <laughs> Yeah, we got the, the new 2023 wings here. We can start with this one here, which is the unit for 2023. This is a brand new shape um, developed uh, out of last year's unit shape. So who's the unit for? Uh, the unit is uh, kind of our wave specific wing. So it's a really, you know, emphasis on stability, ease of use, uh, drifting, really neutral feel when you're holding it from the front handle. Um, and those are all things that got improved with this 2023 model over last year's. Um, so yeah, maybe the first and more, most noticeable thing is the canopy material. So uh, we've gone to a stiffer canopy material here in the, the bulk of the, of the canopy. And that just makes the wing feel more solid, more rigid, um, gives you better feedback, better low end power. It's really noticeable when you're pumping to get up on foil, you just get much more feedback, so much yeah. more uh, like effective pumping to get you up on foil. Um, so that's, that's a, a big improvement over last year's. Um, one of the other things is the dihedral, if you compare it to last year's. It, um, last year's kind of had a progressive di uh, dihedral, whereas this one is kind of a bit more linear. And the reason for that is uh, just an improvement of stability. So when you're holding it from the front handle, it's really neutral and really stable. 
So when you're riding on a wave going down the line, um, you can just sort of hold the wing and set it and forget it and focus on surfing the wave. And it's great for downwinding too, of course, where you just kind of want to get the wing out of your way and forget about it. It's got a really neutral feel. Um, yeah, those are basically the, the main changes for the 2023 unit over the 2022. Just more stable and more powerful, I would say. Yeah. Cool. Then we have the unit D-Lab. So um, again, a lot of the same features I just talked about on the original unit, um, except that of course it's made with the Alula leading edge. So quite a bit lighter, so uh, great for surfing, great for downwinding, incredible drift. Um, it's got the new um, stiffer canopy material. And I think, you know, besides just being lighter, this wing just feels very responsive. Like this material is just, um, the, the reaction time, the, the reflex is so much quicker. Um, so when you're pumping, it's much more effective pumping, better low end and uh, a lighter wing overall. So um, yeah, just uh, the Alula makes all the difference in terms of, of getting that really direct feel and really What's responsive feedback. What's the percentage feedback. of weight difference between the two? Um, I couldn't say off the top of my head. I could get okay. that figure for you though. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> but uh, if you pick them up here on the beach, and especially if you do them on the water, I mean, that's, it's quite a significant difference. I mean, that's quite a bit of material, the leading edge being as big as it is. So um, Alula is significantly lighter than any other material that we're using. So yeah, Very that's cool. the unit D-Lab. Me. Then we have the Slick SLS. This is also new and a big improvement over last year's Slick. Um, yeah, the first and most obvious difference that I should point out, which everyone knows, is that this is our wing that has a boom. Um, so for riders who like to have infinite hand placement or do you know tricks where you're passing the wing behind your back it's really useful to have a boom um, but yeah the main difference between this and the unit is the wingspan so this has a shorter wingspan a little bit lower aspect shorter square wingtips um, compared to last year's slick I would say this one is a little bit more in the direction of a unit, especially in terms of the stability. So when you're holding it from the front handle in a neutral position, it's much more stable than last year's slick. Um, also, just where it sits sort of in front of you when you're, when you're riding, it doesn't sit quite as deep um, behind you as last year's slick. It kind of sits in a little bit more forward neutral position, more similar to uh, the unit, I would say. So it's got a little bit more unit DNA, um, but still with a really short, compact uh, wing tips. So a great freestyle wing uh, for riders who, you know, are doing a lot of spin tricks and stuff. They want to have a shorter wingspan to be able to rotate quicker and land and not drag the wing tip. So this is kind of uh, more in that direction of the freestyle. Very cool. So any predictions on what, uh, the, what's going to happen in the future with winging? What, what are, Where's that go? <laughs> uh, that's a good question. That's something I get asked from time to time. But um, I mean, it's if you would have asked me the same thing four years ago when we first started doing this. I mean, we no one was winging four years ago, yeah. and now now look, it's like everyone's out on wings. So yeah. it's kind of foolish to try and predict the future. I would say, but we're just sort of focused on improving and, and looking for new ways to improve and incorporate different materials into the into the wings and. Uh, just keep pushing forward and keep developing the sport. Cool. I think I think the low wind, uh, light wind aspect of the sport. I mean, yeah. if you look a couple years ago, I would say that the low and low wind threshold was like eight to ten, you know, ten knots, let's say, and that's yeah. dropped even more significantly now. Cool. So I think we're going to continue to see, you know, people being able to go in lighter and lighter wind. And of course, with the development of the wings, the wings get better, the foils get better the boards are able to get smaller, so the gear is getting smaller and lighter and more compact. Um, you know, if I look at like three years ago when we were winging, we were on these giant sup boards, and now guys are riding, you know, four foot boards. And yeah. so all of that will continue to, to progress, and I'm excited to see where it goes. See, you said you weren't gonna say it, and then you told us. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kinda, okay. it's a progression yeah, though. Yeah, like, yeah. Thanks, for, uh, thanks yeah. for taking us through that, it's awesome. Cool. All right, thanks. <laughs>